In this video, we're going to learn how to navigate the appointment book. In the past few videos, we saw how to set up providers, provider services, and provider groups, and the appointment book too. We can now start using the appointment book to book clients. From the main screen, we click on the appointment icon at the top. This opens up the appointment book. It shows the service providers on the top or employees and the times they are available and all the color code settings that we had previously set. The left side shows buttons for various functions which are self-evident and self-explanatory. The right side will show us the list of clients expected to arrive soon or the arrivals panel. The bottom arrow buttons will allow you to scroll through different days of the week. Thursday, Friday. The calendar button will open up six months of calendar. We can click on any day of the calendar, which will bring us to that particular date and we can book a client for that particular date. The now button here at the bottom will bring us to the current date, that is today's date. Let's go ahead and try and book an appointment. The simplest way to book an appointment is to click on any open time slot under the service provider's name. Let's try this. Let's go and book something under Kate. This will bring up a search window for a client. We can search for a client in here. Once we have found the client, we click on the client's name. It pops up a window which shows us the appointment time that we have chosen, uh, who the appointment is with, and the services offered by the provider. We are free to change the time or the service provider if we want it to at this time. Let us choose quick weave for the purpose of this exercise. Once we have highlighted the service, we click OK and we see now here the appointment has been booked. Once you've set up an appointment and you click on that appointment, there are a number of things that you can proceed to do like check in, cancel the appointment, print the appointment, confirm it, send reminders or go to the register and things like that. We will look at how to use this particular window in another video.